Hello everyone. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm actually sitting in a shed. It's the only place where I can get some peace and quiet, uh, so I could record this video for you. Okay, so what I'm going to be running over today. Uh, number one, how to set up an XAMPP environment. Number two, using XAMPP, how to use PHP MyAdmin and uh, MySQL to set up a database for a website and connecting to that database. That's all going to be covered over in this one uh, video. Uh, later on I'll try to show you how to set up a secure environment for your website uh, username login system. Okay so the first thing we want to do is download XAMPP and to do that we go to Safari or Windows Explorer, oh, sorry not Windows Explorer, Internet Explorer and you just type in XAMPP. Okay. Uh, once in XAMPP, oh, sorry, once on the ApacheFriends.org website, uh, we have download. Uh, you can download XAMPP for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS X. Uh, so once you download, that's pretty easy. You just follow the follow the prompts. It's not too difficult. Once you do that, you want to run it. It's a little bit different on uh, Windows, but it's at the same time very similar. Um, so once we get on that, you want to make sure your servers are running. MySQL database is running and Apache Web Server is running on Mac. To get to that, you just click on Manage Servers. Uh, this middle one we don't really need to worry about. Okay, once those two are running, we're going to go to Application. And the other way you can get to this is just in your uh, da, uh, just on, just click on open your internet. Uh, you can type in localhost and it'll open this page for you. Now I'm going to click on PHP my admin, and we are on PHP my admin. Okay, so these are our databases on the left here, and uh, we can actually click on databases, and we want to create a database. I'm just going to call this YouTube. I'm going to create. That's created. Okay, so we're going to create a table within this database, and I'm going to call this uh, users. May as well. Okay, within this table, it's going to give us uh, four elements. I'm going to call the first one ID, the next one username, and I'll actually carry this over to the next tutorial, and we'll use this database uh, to. Uh, We'll connect to this database in this tutorial, but we'll actually use it in the next tutorial. Uh, password, and uh, I'll just say email. The first one is integer. It's the type of uh, data it's going to be holding, integer, which is just numbers. Uh, we want it to index to be primary and auto increment. Now, what that means is the first user that creates a... a um, registers on your site, it'll give them the ID of one, the next person number two, three, four, so it'll automatically keep going up. Uh, the username, we want that to be a varchar, I just think of variable characters. Um, the length, will give it a length of 50 characters, so they can't SQL inject us. Um, we want that to be unique. Password, varchar again, we'll give it a 50 character limit. Uh, that doesn't have to be anything. And email, bar char again, something else can be pretty long, so we'll give that 200. And that also has to be unique. We don't want uh, the same people registering seven different accounts. Let's save that. So in summary, we have a uh, database called YouTube. And in that database, we have a table called users. And within that table, we have a structure um, The structure with ID, username, password, and email. So, how to connect to it? It's pretty easy. We just need to open up a text editor. I believe on Windows it is Notepad. You can download that easily. Or on Mac, um, I just downloaded one called Text Wrangler. And this is a very straightforward. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open up a PHP block. And we'll close that off straight away. And actually, I'll open up, I have one here 
already done. We'll type it all out anyway. But um, where did I save that? I've already got one here. Okay, I'll run over what everything is here, and then we'll retype it in again just to get you um, up to scratch with what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we have our PHP block. It is telling that we're going to be coding in PHP. Uh, telling the server that is, and I've just written a quick note here: connection variables uh, start here, and we have our first variable, which is a placeholder, and within this variable we have our variable name, which is localhost. The database host name is localhost. That's on this system. If you're connecting to a database on your web server, you will most likely be given a IP address. Not this IP address, it's just random numbers I put together, but they'll give you an IP address. You type that in here, and that'll connect you to that particular host. Then we'll have our DB, uh, database username. On my system, it's root. You're on your web server again. It's a unique thing. Uh, you'll have to set that up. Password. I don't have a password, but if you did, you'd have it in here. And our database name, well, we have one now. We'll call it YouTube. We just set that up. Oops. YouTube. And I just have notes. Don't worry about any of this. This is just notes to help you. And I'll actually put this up on a website. I'll put it in the links below um, so you can download, uh, I had a bit of trouble putting this up so you can download a PHP file, not many Macs don't let you download PHP files for some reason, you just kind of have to copy and paste it, but uh, yeah, I'll put this in. Okay, our next little section down here is the actual connection itself, and we have this placed within another variable called connect, and I use this string here, mysqli underscore connect, and then we have our variable, so the host name, the username, password, and the uh, database we're connecting to. And that's the basic structure this MySQLI uh, function needs. And they need to be in that order, by the way. Um, or pretty much die, it's going to kill the script if it can't connect, and it's going to say it could not connect to database. And why don't we throw a little test under here? I'm throwing an if statement. And This just says, if it can connect to the database, we'll echo out some, um, we'll echo out some text saying, uh, connection uh, successful. Or it is gonna give us this, could not connect to the database and a bunch of uh, warnings. So we'll save that. I'll open up my, uh, let's have a look here. I'll open up localhost and YouTube. And sorry, when I saved this, I uh, file save as in with XAMP. You have to save it to a special directory to be able to open it. And I'll just show you that directory. I'll just save this file, save as, and you'll have to save it on Mac under Applications, why isn't that opening, uh, Applications, XAMP, HTDocs, and, oops, sorry, I went, went a bit too far, YouTube, which is the folder I created for this project, and I saved it within there. On a PC, it is C, C Drive, uh, XAMP, HD docs, and then you create your folder inside that, and then you'll be able to open it under the name of localhost. So localhost YouTube, and there is our little connect script there, and connection successful. Now just to show you that that uh, does work, if I put a password in here, I'll just put some random letters in there, um, it'll try to use that password on the database, it'll knock them back, and it'll give us a warning, followed by could not connect to the database. There we are. So our script works. Let me just get rid of that. Um, we are connected to the database. Well, uh, let's go ahead and type that out again. 
So we have our script here, and I'll actually close, actually, I'll just do it over this. So we have our PHP script, uh, PHP blocks, I'm sorry. And the first thing we're going to do is put our variables in. So our database uh, host is going to equal, as I said, it will be your IP address if you're using a web hosting platform. But on uh, using XAMPP, it is just localhost. Uh, next one is database username, and then it's going to equal root on XAMPP. Again, it's root. Our database password is going to equal nothing because I haven't set it up. And our database, we are can, the database we're connecting to in this instance, we named it YouTube. Why can't I can't type today. Okay. Then our actual connection itself, we place within a variable. Connect is equal to my SQLI. And this is a function, underscore connect. And you'll get used to seeing this my SQLI. Previously, it's been my SQL. This I is a new extension. It just makes things a little bit easier. Followed by parentheses, and we'll close that off. And the first thing we have to do, it's all in order here, uh, DB host. And by the way, you don't have to put things in variables. You could just have this one variable connection with MySQLI connect, and you could physically write all this in. Um, so you need localhost, and then comma, quotes in again, and root. And this will work fine. I just like keeping things neat and organized. So that's why I use um, variables. And then, in this case, if anything changes, I just have to change it up here, and it'll change everywhere else. Okay, database password, and the last requirement is database. Okay, so that's going to connect, and we can throw in a or die function here, and that is going to throw us out a little... The only reason it's good is to give us an indication of what went wrong. And we're going to write could not connect to database. Oops. And during the coding process, unless you're a guru, you're going to get a lot of errors and you're going to need to do a lot of fault finding. And this just makes it a little bit easier during that process. Okay, so uh, I saved that. Connected hasn't given me any warning. Any warnings? Uh, I don't have that little check function in here. I can make it um, with that if statement. If connect is successful, echo. Oops. Success. Save that. Load. Success. We've successfully connected to the database. Well, that does it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, I'm sorry it went for so long. I just wanted to make sure I went over everything clearly. Sorry about the shed. It's my only place I could uh, get a little bit of peace and quiet. I've got, at the moment, uh, two, two kids and a baby in the house. So, <laughs> um, excuse, again, excuse the shed. Um, well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll try to run over uh, setting up a username, an authentication system, pretty much, uh, username and password, and we'll brush on sessions, uh, how to pass over variables page to page. Okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you got some information out of it. Uh, if you like it, please like, uh, rate, subscribe. That's it. Thanks, guys.